in this video I'm going to integrate using a trig substitution which is generally asked in uh, scholarship exams so in NZQA or in New Zealand it, this would be a scholarship question. So the question is integrate dx over square root of 4 minus x squared. So I've already done the working so I'll go step by step. So we know a trig identity, sine squared plus cos squared is 1, so we'll use that later. So the first step what I've done is, I've factored out a 4. So what I have done is, uh, if you factor out a 4, uh, you can, well, if you expand it, you can see this, 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 times minus x squared over 4 is minus x squared. So this and this are the same. The reason I wanted, uh, I factored out 4 is to write in this form because I know 1 minus sine squared theta is equal to cos squared theta. So what I'm going to do in the next step is I am comparing this form that is 1 minus x squared over 4 with this form and I'm going to substitute x squared over 4 as sine squared theta. So that's what I've done. I've done a little of simplification. So what I've done is uh, the square root of 4, when you take it out, be 2 times 1 minus x squared over 4. So this is 2, the square root of 4. The next step, that's what I've done. I have let x squared over 4 as sine squared theta. Okay, to compare, I've compared this with this. Okay. Now, this doesn't make sense at this stage. Why did I do the substitution? But later on, we'll check our answer. But uh, this is a difficult step, okay? So, now, if you take square root of both sides, x over 2 is equal to sine theta. Now, if you differentiate, therefore, cross multiply, x is equal to sine theta. So, if you differentiate both, if you differentiate with respect to theta, differentiation of sine theta is cos theta, so dx by d theta is 2 cos theta. So let me scroll up. So what's the next step? So if dx, is, dx by d theta is 2 cos theta, dx would be 2 cos theta d theta. Okay, now let me, let us look back. So we have got, you can substitute dx as 2 cos theta d theta. And you can substitute x squared over 4 as sine squared x. So in the next step, everything will change with respect to theta. dx will change to this, and x squared over 4 would change to this. So this will become a, from a xy form, now it will become a trig form. So that has changed to 1 over 2. This thing has changed to 2 cos theta d theta over 1 minus sine squared theta. Okay, let me go back. Now what do we know about 1 minus sine squared theta? 1 minus sine squared theta is cos squared theta. Okay, so what will happen? This becomes 2, this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. And what square root of 1 minus sine squared, or sine squared, you know 1 minus sine squared theta is cos squared theta. So if you take square root of this side, you have to take square root of this side. And if you square root of, the square root of cos squared theta is cos theta. So if this and this gets cancelled, that is 1 d theta. Integration of 1 d theta. And integration of 1 is theta. Okay, now let us go back. Okay, this I have got from, yeah, can you see, x is, 2 sine theta. I've rewritten this here. So now I can say, okay, if x is 2 sine theta, sine theta is x over 2. So if you take sine inverse of both sides, theta is sine inverse of x over 2. So the ultimate answer is integration of dx by 1 over, sorry, in a square root of 1 minus 4x squared is sine inverse of x 
theta changes to sine inverse of x over 2 plus c. Now, how will you check whether this answer is right? So, what I have done is, I have made up to check this is a good way to check. You change this question into a definite integral question. And I'm going to use the graphic calculator to check my answer. So, if you know indefinite integration of this is sine squared theta, sine squared sine inverse of x over 2 plus c, when it is changes to definite integral, the constant disappears. So, this and this would be the same. So, how will you check the ans your answer? So, um, I've not written this. So, I'm going to write the right-hand side using GC. GC stands for graphic calculator. So, I'm going to uh, remember this. So, get your calculator out and you go to your menu and go to your run menu. That's one. Then you go under option. And under option, F4 stands for calculus. So you press F4. And again, F4 is integration dx. So I'm going to integrate a function, which I know is 1 divided by uh, square root. I'll put the bracket 4 minus x squared. Now, one more thing that you have to remember here is that you have to set this in radians. Okay, I'll show you. This is my calculator automatically set. So it goes on in radians. In, in calculus, when you're talking about angle, it's always in radians, especially in trig. Okay, so my limits of integration is 0 to 1. So I'll put z comma 0, comma 1. Hopefully I have done it right. And so this is definite integration of this function. So I'm going to say that is this number. So this should be equal to the sine inverse that we got. So I remember that. So I'll go shift sine inverse. My upper bound is it's x over 2. So I'll go 1 divided by 2. My upper bound is 1 plus take away shift sine of the lower bound is 0. So 0 divided by 2 and close the bracket and see what's the answer. Both are the same, so your answer is right. See you in the next video. I'll do a few more examples of trig substitution.